Hi, this is PG of PG's Lumacy. In this tutorial, we will be making the Hulk figure for the Rainbow Loom Avengers series. For this project, we will be using lime green bands for most of the figure, purple bands for the pants, and black bands for the hair. I am using original Rainbow Loom solid colored bands. We will also need seed beads for the eyes and you could get them from craft stores and mine came in a pack like this. You will also need a, a piece of floss for stringing the beads uh, with a, a band and the kind I'm using is the one with a reinforced tip the ones that is used for braces and dental bridges. We will use the loom in its standard offset configuration, which means that the pins will be staggered and the arrow will be pointing downwards or towards you. We need to first prepare the arm pieces before we work on the main body and for those of you who have made action figures before using my designs, you will take note that I am using different numbers of bands for each of the steps. So you have to pay attention to how many bands I am placing at each step. The reason for this is that the, the Hulk has a bulkier shape and form and so to create that effect we need to use different numbers of uh, bands for each step. To start off let us place two lime green bands on the top center pins and then another two lime green bands on the side top pins. Next we will place four lime green bands on the next pins followed by three lime green bands on the next pins. Next we will place two lime green bands and finally we will place three lime green bands okay check your layout we have two lime green bands on these pins two on these pins on the side and then four, three, two, and three. We will place a capping band on this pin and we will loop the capping band three times. One, two, three. Let us loop the arm piece starting with this pin go into the capping band and grab the three bands underneath get them out of the pin and you may want to hold the capping band in place and then loop the three bands to the forward pin next let's loop the two bands And then this set of bands and when you get to these four bands instead of looping to this pin we will loop it to this pin get all four bands and loop them to this pin on the center and then loop the remaining bands 
to the top pins. And that is the piece for the arm. We secure the top loops with a toothpick and then pull the entire piece off the loom. And that would be the arm piece for the hulk. And you will need to make one more for the other arm. Now that we are done with the arm pieces, we will work on the main section of the figure, starting with the head. For the hair, let's start with two black bands on the top center pins. And then from this pin to this pin, we will place two black bands. And we will do that again on this other side. Next, we will add a row of double lime green bands on this row. And then we will place two lime green bands on the next center pins. And then we will place a diagonal band from this pin to this pin on the side. We'll do that again on the other side. For the neck, we will place three lime green bands. Let's add the shoulder pieces and those would be diagonal bands from the center pin to the side. We will use two lime green bands. Do that again for the other side. Now let us add a row of lime green bands on this row. We will use two bands for each pins, set of pins. Then for the next row, I want you to take note of the number of bands that I'll be using. For the center pins, I'll be using three lime green bands. This will create a, a bulkier chest area for the Hulk. For the sides, I will only use two lime green bands. I will repeat that for the next row. Three bands on the center pin and then two bands on each side. For the last row of green bands, we will just use double bands. Let us add the bands for the pants. And for starters, let us add two purple bands on the next pins on the side. And let's do that again on the other side. Then we will add purple diagonal bands from this pin to this pin on the center. We'll be using two 
purple bands and we will do that again on the, this other side two purple bands next we will add three purple bands on the next pins that again on this other side okay another three bands on the next pins and three bands on the other side as well now for the exposed leg we will use green bands again we will use three green bands for these bottom pins and then another three for the other side for the feet we will use three lime green bands and note that I am using the unused pins on uh, in the middle I placed three bands on these pins and then I will add a capping band on this pin and I will loop the capping band three times one two three grab your hook and go into the capping band grab the three bands underneath get them out of the pin you might need to hold on to the capping band so it will stay in place and then loop to the forward pin and then grab this whole piece pull it off the loom and then move it to this pin let's do that again for the other side three lime green bands and then we will add a capping band looped three times one two three loop pull it off the loom and then move to this pin this is how the layout will look like with the vertical and the diagonal bands in place you may want to pause the video and check to see if you have the same layout let us add the horizontal bands that will hold the piece together and also define its shape for the head area or the face area we will be using a double looped band for the horizontal band and to form a double loop band you, you, you twist a band to form a figure eight you fold it to itself and that forms the double loop band and you place it on the corresponding pins for the chest area we start with a single band on these pins For the next set of pins, we will add what I call a one and one third looped band. And to do that, we will place a single band across these three pins and then loop the center portion of the band to the center pin. So it is looped one 
and one third times on these pins. For the next horizontal band, we will use a green single band and it will be a double looped band. And lastly, on this section over here, we will use a purple single band looped two times, a double looped band. This is the layout with the horizontal bands in place. This is a double loop band, single, one and one third loop band, a double loop band, and another double loop band. Check to see if you have the same layout. Now let us add the arm pieces that we made for the figure and we will be attaching them to these pins by the arm area. To do that, we will carefully pull out the toothpick that was used to secure the, the piece and you will notice that you have two sets of loops. Starting off with one of these sets, we will hold on to both ends of the bands and place them on the two pins that I pointed out earlier. Okay, and then grab the other set of bands and then place them on the same pins. And then using your hook, you, you push these bands on the top layer to this side. And then go for the bottom layer of bands and push them to this side. Okay. If the loom were in this position, you want these bands to be on the upper side and you want these bands on the second layer on the lower side. And that will give your arm a more natural look. Let's do that for the other side. Again, pull out the toothpick that's holding the loops. Grab the two ends for one set of loops. And then grab the two ends of the other set of loops and place them on the same pins. Okay. Push these bands to this section over here and the lower bands to this section over here. And this is how your layout will look like with the arm pieces attached. Now let us make the piece for the eyes. Like I said, we will be using two black seed beads that we will string with this lime green band. And to do that, I use a floss that's reinforced uh, on, uh, on the tip. I string the seed beads with the floss and then I get the band onto the floss and then I reinsert the tip of the floss to my seed beads.
that forms a loop on the floss that I can use to pull the band into the seed beads like so and then I just pull the floss out and I have the seed beads on the band and we place the band on these pins okay make sure the beads are on opposite sides of this center band now because I want the the bead for the eyes to be in this section over here I don't want them to be too high and these pins will place them uh, too high what I do is I grab this pair of bands and then I get the bands holding the the beads into its middle portion off of the pin and then I place the double bands back on the pin. Let's do that on the other side. I grab, I go into this band holding the seed beads. I grab the green bands underneath. And then I get the, the band holding the seed beads into the middle of this band. And then I just replace the band into the pins. What happens then is that now the, the band holding the, the seed beads for the eyes will not be at this level. But they will be in this level and they're, they're just about uh, on, the same, on, the, on the right level for the eyes on the figure. Now we are ready to loop our bands. We will start with the, the feet and the leg area. Okay, go into the capping band and then grab the, the bands underneath. Hold on to the capping band so they stay in place and then loop to the forward pin. We will go all the way to the hip area. Let's do that on this other side. When you get to this section, we will loop these diagonal bands first. We grab them, get them out of the loom, and then loop to this pin on the center. Let's do that on the other side. Grab the ends, get it off the pin, and then loop to the center pin. Now let's loop these bands and also this one's on the other side. Now let us loop these bands forward. When you get to this section over here, it is quite easy to miss these bands because they're somewhat hidden. So make sure that you loop these bands. And you go into these layers of bands all the way to the bottom. Grab the two bands underneath. Get them off the pin and then loop over the arm piece and onto the 
pins on the shoulder area. Let's do that again on the other side. We are looking for these bands. Go all the way to the bottom of these layers of bands. Grab the bands in the bottom. Get them out of the pin and then loop forward over the arm piece. And then let's loop this center pair of bands. Now let's loop these diagonal bands. And then these bands for the neck. Now for the bands on the chin area, you look for the pair of bands that is on the top. And in my case, that would be these pair of bands. So we grab them first, get them off the pin, and then loop to this pin. You will notice this neat teardrop shape. And that tells you that you loop the right bands. If, if they all get twisty, that means that you loop the wrong bands and you have to retrace your steps. Now it's this pair of bands. Grab from underneath, get off the pin, and loop to the forward pin. Again, you see the neat teardrop shape. And go for the center bands. Now loop this pair of bands. Make sure that the beads are on either side of this center band and then loop the, the bands on the side like so. Okay. And then loop the diagonal bands for the hair and then loop the top black bands. Now I want to add some more hair for the hog figure and I will be using black bands for that. And to do that, I, I will go for this bands over uh, this this pair of bands over here. Just the just this portion, not not the entire not the entire set of bands, but just this pair of bands over here. Okay? I will I inserted my hook into these bands and then I will grab two black bands and get them into these loops. Okay. So you see, I formed a loop with these black bands and then I will get another two bands and get them into the black bands that I placed earlier and then I grab all the loops for that band and then I We can go this way. I stretch the bands and get these loops on the top pins. Like so. Let's do that again on the other side. Okay. We grab this pair of bands over here. Then we 
get our two black bands and get them into those green loops and then gather all the loops that are formed with the hook and then grab another two bands and then get them into these black loops. Be careful not to pull any of the bands on the loom out of place. And then gather all the loops, the new loops that are formed, and then stretch and place the loops that are formed onto the top ends. That will add additional hair that will go uh, on the sides of the, the face all the way to the top of the head. So this is how the layout will look like after you have looped the bands and added the additional uh, hair for this piece. Now all we need to do is to grab a, a single black band and then go into all these loops at the top, get your single band into all these loops, form a knot with a single band and, and secure. And we are now ready to pull our entire piece off the loom. And it would be good to use a, a hook to pry the bands out of the pins, especially the thicker layers so they don't get stretched out and possibly break. Okay, and then pull the rest of the piece off the loom. Now we just stretch out the, the pieces. For the, the feet, I, I turn these loops out like so, so they will look wider at the end because the Hulk has wide feet okay then again on the other side I I turn out the loops like so and then fold so that the feet will be pointing forward Stretch out the, the head part. And you notice that with the additional pieces that we added on the sides, we have a thicker hair for the hulk. Okay, now grab a, a, a pair of tweezers and fine tune the, the placement for the eyes. Okay, make sure they're in place.
And there you have it, the Hulk figure for the Rainbow Loom Avengers series.